What's up? It's Martin here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I take my notes on the Surface Pro 7 using OneNote. OneNote is a pretty basic app to take your notes and its functions are pretty easy to grasp. So I'll be going over how to import your PowerPoint slides using the print to OneNote function, general organization using subpages and notebooks, writing and page setup, as well as any other functions that I use less but are potentially useful. So with that, if you find this video helpful, as always, make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because it helps push this video out to more students who need to see this so that they aren't confused or lost the first time they try to take notes on OneNote. So with that, let's begin. This first part is Surface specific. So if you don't have a Surface and would just like to see the OneNote tutorial, then skip to this timestamp. So for starters, I only used the Surface to take notes. So I didn't really heavily spec when I bought this device. So any details on the specs of this device will be in the description below. So let's get started with the pen. So this Surface Pen uses a quadruple A battery and this should last around at least a year. I used this starting in the winter term, so in January or February, I believe. It still has around 82% battery, which is a pretty good sign for pen's battery life. And if you want to adjust the settings for your pen, you just search for the pen settings. So you can choose the hand that you write with, as well as any other settings that you see here. You can also change what the button at the back of the pen does. Mine is still at default opening OneNote. So that's that for pen settings. It's pretty basic. And in terms of importing your professor's PowerPoint slides into OneNote, you just need to go to printers and scanners and make sure you add the one that's for OneNote. I'll link a tutorial in the description down below to this specific step. But it should be pretty basic and you should be able to find out how to do it with a simple Google search. So the first thing that you will notice when you open OneNote is that you can organize your notes on the side here. So you can organize this by years or whatnot. And another thing about organization is that within each notebook, you can add sections. So I have cell biology and the other courses that I'm taking. And for each subject, you can subdivide it into themes or subpages. So how you do that is, for example, you add a page. And here is just a random page that is floating around, not under any other category. Let's say you create another page. You name this one theme seven. And then you just right click or touch and hold. And then you just make sub page. So that's just basic organization with OneNote. So I'm just going to delete this real quick. And let's move on to importing a slideshow. So as I said before, you would have added OneNote as a printer. And then you go to PowerPoint and you just print your slides. So here, file, print, and then you just print to OneNote. And then adjust your settings as you see fit. And I already have the notes printed. So I'm just going to close this real quick. And here we are in OneNote. So once you imported your slides, you can rename it over here. And with that, let's start with page setup. So go to view, you can add ruled lines. As you can see, the ruled lines don't go through this area because these are pictures of your slideshow. You can adjust how much space is in between the lines. And this really depends on the subject that you're taking the notes for, but usually I just like to do none. It's up to you what you want to do with your page. And there's also page color, which I don't really like to get into because just leave it white and that's all right with me. And when you go to draw, you can add different pens. There's three types of pens. There's a pencil, which you can choose the thickness and the color. And it writes like this. If you change the thickness, it'll look like that, but that's the pencil. You can delete your pens by right clicking or touch and hold. You can move it around by dragging it. And you can adjust the settings by tapping it. Excuse my slow surface right now because I'm screen recording and it takes a little bit more resources than usual. The pen writes like this. And the highlighter is basically a regular highlighter. And the eraser is just a regular eraser. You can change it from a stroke eraser, which erases pen strokes, or you can change it to a regular eraser that erases parts of your drawing. I like to use the stroke eraser because it's faster. And if you're using the Surface Pen, you can just use the back of your pen instead of clicking on the pen's toolbar. So writing is pretty simple. You just write on the screen. I know a lot of students use the keyboard to just type the notes in OneNote, but I prefer to annotate because it's a lot more flexible because you can annotate diagrams instead of typing right next to it. Because if you annotate, you can circle specific parts of the diagram and you can write in the diagram as well. So that really helps when using OneNote. So, one function that is actually pretty darn useful is the lasso select tool. So for example, you write something in the wrong order and you want to move it. Let's just say you write two pieces of notes and they're too far from each other. 
You can take the lasso tool and move your notes closer together and also reorganize your page using this tool. With the surface pen, you can just click the side button and it will automatically do the lasso tool for you. So that's just another useful tool to take in your notes. You can also move your annotations. Basically, you can move anything with this tool. Some other useful functions is the ruler function, which helps you draw straight lines. This can help in courses like math, where you need to draw charts, but it's not the quickest thing out there, but it's still a useful tool nonetheless. Ink to shape. You can draw shapes, which it will interpret and fill in the perfect shape for you. Another useful thing that you can look for is in the insert tab, which you can look for equations, symbols, and even record audio, which are functions that I don't really use, but it's there if you want to use it. And on the home tab, this is basically used if you type your notes on one note, which I don't really use that often, but it's still there for you to use if you want to use it. So that's about it with OneNote. Basically what I do with taking my notes is just import the notes from PowerPoint and annotate it however I'd see fit. And yeah, there's nothing else more about OneNote that you need to know about. And you can just play around with OneNote and see what else you can find. But that's what I got from using OneNote for my first year in university. And I hope that by going over the basic functions, it will help you at least a little bit. So yeah, this program is not very complicated because they're still updating it. And it doesn't have the same functionality as parts of the old OneNote, which is OneNote 2016, I believe. But this OneNote has all the basic functions that you need to just take notes with the Surface and the Surface Pen. So links for the Surface, Surface Pen, and the battery will be in the description down below if you're interested in checking that out. And yeah, that's about it for this video. So smash that like button and hit subscribe with post notifications on if you want to see more content like this. And yeah, recording three videos a week is pretty hard, so I'll probably need to slow down the upload schedule if I want the quality to be better than this, because this was honestly pretty on the fly. But if it helped you, then I am very happy to hear that. And yeah, that's about it. See ya.